the committee. They wanted to whiffle on that wording, and I believe it should only be the artist guest of honor who should be excluded in that category of donation, donated art. So I'm willing to accept a recommendation back to committee, but I would also like all the artists who came here today specifically to speak to also be heard so we know what else we need to consider on a rewrite. Thank you. Any, yeah, she's on questions. All right, uh, Mr. McCarty. Do you have a question? Not a question. Okay. okay, thank you. Hi, uh, I continue to be Dave McCarty. Um, a few years ago when we uh, worked to expand the definition of fan art beyond just illustration and fanzines and we added uh, display at, at conventions, the thing that I think, I, I think that in, a, in an unintended way that broke fan art, um, the art of fan art the, the act of fan art is, is importantly the making that allowable for use by conventions and fanish things in lieu of compensation other ways. Um, so, uh, you know, just because somebody is not a professional artist and they have art on deviant art does not necessarily make it fan art. They have to, they have to make that stuff available to fanish things in lieu of compensation. And that's why I find the uh, D5 much better than D51 because it brings it back in line and it says if you make your art available to fanish things more generally and it's not just conventions then that is fan art and if you do art other ways that is not fan art and I think that that's a good way to draw the line that pr that better defines fan art. Uh, is it a question or debate? It's a specific response to your D5 Okay. okay. But given that you've already spoken, I'm going to let the person who also popped up before you go first. Sorry, Perky. Thank you. I remain Perky. Um, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. McCarthy for raising that point. Uh, specifically, the wording here says for which the rights to reproduce that artwork have been given without direct compensation to one or more non-commercial publications or for use or a non-profit science fiction or fantasy conventions. We don't have this clause in fanzine. We don't have this clause in fan writer. We don't have this clause in fan cast. Why are we requiring fan artists to give away their work uh, for anyone else to reproduce? Why cannot, you know, a fanzine posted on the internet, a fan artwork posted on the internet, why are they not equivalent? I think there are definite merits in reevaluating and updating this to cover electronic publication of art, but a clause for, you know, giving away rights, I, I do not think that is appropriate. I do want to, before we continue, let the body know that we have approximately two to three minutes left in the uh, 20 minutes that was given for the entire uh, entire discussion. Uh, do you have a preference for how long we extend debate for in your motion? Another 10 minutes. Okay, I heard a second. Second. Uh, there's a point of order from somewhere. Yeah. Multiple. Yeah. Multiple. Ben. The 20 minutes is under the control of the main meeting. We are in quasi committee, sorry, we are in committee of the whole, not even quasi committee of the whole, and therefore have no power to adjust the time limits because that can only be done when we are in session and not in committee of the whole. This is well taken. We That's go. true. The point is well taken. Uh, there's another point of order. Seth. Move to suspend those. Seth. We don't have the power to suspend the rules. Yeah. The only thing we can do is rise and report. We can rise and report. I do not believe, Seth Breitbart, I do not believe that the motion to go into a committee of the whole had a time limit on us. Therefore, we go until we end 
by vote. Not well taken, I don't think. Can I, I don't think that's well taken. It's all part of the same thing. Can I, let me confer with my parliamentarian for one moment, who's very far away from me. <laughs> My parliamentarian says the same thing that the uh, chair said to me before he put me in charge, was, which is that the time of the Committee of the Whole does indeed come out of the debate time given to the main motion. Um, is that, are you rising for a point of order? Okay. Uh, I'd like to rise for a point of order. Okay, feel free. What is your point of order? Microphone. Yeah, microphone please. I'm sorry, folks, I wasn't expecting this when I came in this morning. <laughs> Todd Dashoff, does that ruling mean that this committee of the whole can exhaust whatever time it takes, and then when it returns into the whatever we call the normal business, have a, have a situation where time may have elapsed because of the committee of the whole deliberations, or does it force this committee of the whole to a specific time limit? I can use all the time, and when we come back, there's zero time, but somebody can still yeah. move to extend. I, I believe he's asking if it can go past the 20 minutes, no, though. No, we talk for a week if we want, and no. then when we get back, say, oh, time's no. exhausted. No, I, we can talk for the amount of time that was set for the debate on the main motion. When we would come back to that, debate time would be exhausted. However, um, our standing rules do provide for situations in which debate time has been exhausted before one side of the motion has had time to speak, in which case that would come into effect. Madam Chair, I think yeah. I have a way out of your weeds. Thank you. <laughs> if you'll let me, if you'll recognize Yes, me. I recognize you so much. Kevin Stanley, uh, am I correct that I should use Madam Chair as the correct form of address? That works for now, thank at you. least. Um, thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, um, I move that the Committee of the Whole rise and request guidance from the main meeting on its debate time. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to suggest that. Are there any objections to doing so? Uh, seeing an objection, we will uh, vote on this. All those in favor of having the main body, you, okay, I won't restate it, uh, since you're already voting, thank you. All those opposed, uh, it passes. Mr. Stanley. <laughs> Kevin Stanley. Madam Chair, um, I move that we go into Committee of the Whole with a debate with uh, not more than 16 more minutes of debate time before it must rise and report to the main uh, meeting. 16 or 16? One six. Before I respond to that, bef I'm going to ask unanimous consent of the body that I be allowed to chair this right now, even though I'm chairing the Committee of the Whole and I'm technically not allowed to chair Tim what's happening right now, but yeah. Tem had an emergency. Yeah, okay. Are there any objections? No. Thank you. Uh, All right, now I move the motion I just made a moment ago. Yes, I heard a second. Is there any objection to having the Committee of the Whole resume for not more than another 16 minutes? See none, we are back in Committee of the Whole. Thank you for everyone's assistance. Uh, Mr. Buff. I believe part of the reason that we, ex that we postponed Warren Buff, I believe part of the reason we postponed definitely today was because of the conflict with the ASFA meeting. Could I see a show of hands of artists in the room? I would like to yield the, some of my speaking time to this artist. <laughs> and I'm sorry you have the chair's apologies because of the lights behind you. I'm realizing that I was not seeing your card. I'm very sorry. I thought it was vibrating enough. <laughs> Madam Chair, my name is Maureen Starkey. I am uh, a Hugo Award winner uh, from 2012.